It's going to be hot. Turn on the freaking lights. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Does anybody remember the video I made five years ago on our fiberglass tub to shower conversion? If you do, you've been around my channel for a long, long time. And um, I want to make an update video uh, about our shower. And uh, I had a lot of tilers, professionals tell me I couldn't do it and tell me it would never last. And so um, five years later, I want to show you guys what this shower looks like. Um, hang on. Let me turn this on. Let me turn the lights on because it's dark in here. Alexa, turn on the bedroom. <laughs> ah, there we go. So I've grown in my channel over the past five years. I've grown in um, trying to make better YouTube videos. I've grown as a person individually and everything. So, uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm going to just, I'm going to take you guys right in and show you what our bathroom looks like with the five-year-old shower that a non-professional tiler installed <laughs> yes i am well and it's not been cleaned i mean it's, we keep it clean i keep it clean but it's um this shower is used daily and uh <clears throat> this is exactly what it looks like and so i've not had to do anything to it other than when i originally uh built this tile shower myself back in the day five years ago uh so let's Let's go right in, and this is exactly what it looks like five years later. All right, so excuse the mess. We have bathing suits and things hanging from the shower because we do have a redneck pool out back. So let me just move all this, get all the bathing suits out of the way. <clears throat> all right, so. This is the real deal right here. This is a shower that was built by a non-professional tiler five years ago. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to give you guys some close-up shots of the shower and show you how well this thing has held up over five years. And again, remember, um, <laughs> I had comments on that video saying it will never last. Um, you'll, your bathroom will start stinking and within six months, um, your tile's gonna break, your grout's gonna break, you're gonna have leaks, you're gonna have all kinds of problems. I've not had any of those problems. And let me go ahead and show this shower to you guys. So let's turn this thing around. <clears throat> okay, so uh, the door needs to be cleaned a little bit, that's obvious. But it still, the door still works flawlessly. And, uh, <clears throat> When I built the shower, um, there's a couple of things I really didn't, um, I really did not show you all the mistakes I made as a non-professional, but that really has not perfect, has not affected the performance of the shower. It's just those little things that I think most people would not even recognize unless you actually built it yourself. So you could probably have a professional tiler come into your home and build your shower and you would never recognize these things unless you did it yourself, in my case, like I did. So a couple things I will show you. This, uh, this, entire, this entire wall right here, uh, when, I, when, I, when I put the tile up here and made my mortar and I made my base behind everything and I was, you know, taking it all on there, I did not, I did not plumb this up. This whole wall is not plumb, okay? And you can tell, you can tell by the crack in the door here. Up here, it's uh, got a tight fit. And down here, it's got a tight fit. But in the middle, that wall boasts just a wee little, I mean, it, it's, it's just a wee little bit. So in order to 
compensate for that. What I've done is this, um, I don't know, the weather, the, the strip, the, the water, the strip for your, uh, keep the water coming through. I can actually pull this out a little bit like that right there and just leave it kind of like that. So when you close it, it makes a good tight seal against the wall. So that was one of the things I never really mentioned in that original video I made when I built the shower. Um, what else? Other than that, this side right here, I did make sure that it was flush because I knew if this side wouldn't flush, this glass will not fit plumb with the wall. And I did a little better job on this side over here than I did on that side over there, obviously, because that glass is perfectly plumb with the, uh, with the wall, the tile, and even on the, um, even on the threshold here. <clears throat> so let me see. Um, you can even see where I, there, I even, I even had where the red guard was everywhere. I mean, I, I use so much red guard on this, on this shower base. It wasn't even funny. I red guarded everything to make sure there was no leaks. And I think I accomplished that because it's not leaking anywhere. Uh, I don't think there's any water under the tiles down here. Um, the tiles are not popping up. They're not cracking. Um, none of the, none of the grout or anything is cracking. I did seal this. I sealed it, I think three times in the past. I've sealed this grout uh, three times in the past five years. So there's no water going to get down through this grout. Um, I don't know if, if I would have done it, if I had to do it again, I think I would have done something different. I would have done something different here um, with making my drain, because as you can tell, there's, I didn't do anything to make this drain removable. So I have to rely on a plunger to clean the drain out. And I have to sometimes uh, stick uh, something down in here to pull some of the hair out and stuff like that. And I really haven't, I should have done a better job of this, but uh, again, it's not affected. And you can see the red guard that's here as well, but it has not affected the performance of the shower in any shape, form or fashion. I put this decorative tile in here. I think if I would had to do this all over again, I would have not put this in here. I think I would just made it all tile. I mean, it's performing well. It's, there's no cracks, no leaks, no nothing through here. But I just, I don't know, I don't like to look. It just, it looks kind of dated. I've had some people make comments on those videos and say that it was dated. But um, the bottom, I think looks fine. That's just my opinion about that. Some people say it's dated. But I mean, you know, I, did, I did the tile that matches the wall here with this right here around that. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool, but I think I would, if I did all over again, I would have went just with tile all the way through this instead of this backsplash kind of look. This, this looks like it should be in the kitchen on a backsplash, not a shower. Um, what else? Uh, I mean, let's just look at the grout, look at the tile work. It's, I'll give you some close up shots. You know, it's no mold, no mildew, no nothing. It looks very good. <clears throat> Even right in here where I made that cut, um, I, I did use my tile saw to cut that right there. And you can tell where I went over a little bit right there. But I mean, it, for a, for a non-professional, for a novice, I think I did a real, uh, really good job. Um, threshold, I wish I would have put a whole piece on here. Of course, you know, I was I was trying to do it, not cheap, but I was trying to buy the cheapest tile I could to do the threshold. And I went with multiple pieces, but I wish I had one piece that went all the way from that end to that end. I think that would look better. What else? The plumbing. The gusset and the valve for the faucet here. Um, it's in very good condition. I've got good caulk around this entire faucet. After five years, it's good. Um, I probably need to replace the shower head. These are looking pretty rough. They're getting pretty dated, so we may just replace this whole thing right here. But we do like the separate uh, handle. That works out really well in the shower. But anyway, overall, um, I'm so happy with it. It's, uh, it has served us very well. Um, we use the shower multiple times a day. And uh, no problems whatsoever. No leaks, no, uh, no performance issues with it. Um, it, it, <clears throat> it probably does look a little dated uh, for... Uh, you know, for a shower these days. Uh, but, uh, I mean, man, I'm telling you what, the way with as much material 
as much material cost these days and things. I, I don't know if I would, I don't know if I'd do it all over again, um, but we'll see. I mean, I think if I did it all over again, I would go with some solid white tile, um, more, a more updated look, um, you know, make it look just modern, slick, and uh, just kind of bring it up to date. But uh, anyway, <laughs> that video, let me get out of the shower now. So you guys, you know, you guys have seen the thing lasted five years and I, I expect it to last many, many more. But, uh, man, you guys have been awesome. Now, I've had 42,000 views or over 42,000 views on that, on that video. And I've had three or 400 likes on it. I need to go back and look at it. But I've had a lot of views on it. Um, I'm thinking about doing our other shower which is in our second bathroom in this house and uh let's just go take a look at it so that way you guys will see what the what this one that i did five years ago used to look like so let's go on over here to the second bathroom and i'll show you guys what this what it used to look like in the other bathroom so this right here is what that shower used it was the exact same thing so this is it right here so you know basically just your standard walk-in uh, fiberglass tub shower look i mean there's you know there it, it is what it is it, there's 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 nothing to it and it's it's real small it's a cheap version of a tub shower combo in a like a spec home you know it's it's, it's a spec house lower end unit so uh I would I would love to to build a more modern uh, tile shower in here, like I did in our master bath. But uh, that that costs money. If y'all can help me get to, well, I need over a thousand subs on my channel. So if you guys can help me get to, you know, a thousand or more subs, and you won't see me do some of these projects again, you know, like I did in the on the first one, and try to help somebody out out you know i'm most certainly all up for it but you know that costs money and and right now i need you know i need some i need some subscriptions on my channel and i need you know i need to get up to a thousand subs so i can get monetized i am not monetized on my channel um so but you know these things cost a lot of money and uh i need something just to help supplement it and i can't do it i can't do it without some help so um but anyway guys with that being said Please like my videos, please subscribe, uh, please leave me comments and uh, help us get to where we need to be so I can start doing some more projects like this for you guys and, and recording those things and making some more YouTube content. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.